nice handle on this? Yeah. This part right here? I think so. I know, it's like... What's going on here? Okay. I just didn't want that to come, like, tumbling down on you, you know? I'm pretty sure it's starting to come tumbling down on me. channel march is just around the corner in fact it is tomorrow so that means we are getting all prepared for starting seeds do you press it down yeah can i push it that's really sturdy cool yes, push your side down oh. so last year we used a shelf that is now being used inside the shelter logic that's why we had to buy this shelf for the seeds this year when we bought this thing it said it held a thousand pounds, and to me, I thought that that meant that the whole shelf just held a thousand pounds. But it's actually saying in the instructions here that each single shelf holds a thousand pounds, and it says that this shelf all together will hold six thousand pounds. I don't think it'll hold six thousand pounds, but it's definitely a lot sturdier. It's holding over three hundred. Yeah, it's 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 a lot sturdier than I thought it was gonna be. So it's a, it's a pretty cool shelf. Anyways, I just thought it was kind of cool. This is a heavy-duty shelf we're working with here. We're not going to use all the weight, but like I said, it's just for seeds. Can't believe I have that much weight. Our shelf's done. Before we add the lights, we have to do some shifting around of things in this small little house that we have here. Eric and I spent a lot of time thinking about where we want to put our seed rack, and we're going to go with our south window. That's where we've done the seeds inside the house two years in the past and it's always worked really well they get good light but then we also supplement them the only problem this year is that's also where we decided to put all of our canned goods so we have to move that and we're going to put it right in front of this little movable kitchen table we have going to be a little awkward in here for a few months but that's just the nature of living in a smaller house This probably weighs a thousand pounds. Eight, 800 pounds, 600 pounds? It's heavy. Yeah. But you got more here, too. I know, I saw it. Okay, the carrots are being kept separate from maisons because it's no big deal, actually. Over yeah, they just have different, they have different dates, so it's no big deal. You know what this reminds me of? Our living room table. Which is like at least 400 pounds. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want to go back? Maybe you should go back. See if you mean it. It's awkward. Tight. Oh. It hit my head. Okay, we're good. We're good. Can you get out of there? Yeah, I can still get out of here. Well, we figured this would be a good time to do inventory. I've actually had to do this a few times just to sort through. Uh, if you remember a while back when we did a video on this little shelf and all the food that's on it, it's not the most convenient long-term shelf by any means, but it has worked really well for us this season. And we have been so fortunate that we worked really hard the last year, two years, to put up a lot of food. And this is, this is the result. We have a bunch of extra food. And when I say extra, it's just going to be used later in the year. So it's, it's awesome. It's for next winter. It's for the summer. Really, really ecstatic about it, honestly. What do you want next? Tomato sauce? Saw? What are you going for? I'll probably do... I could do a fish. I could do a different fish if you want. We got pink salmon right here. Was that all the purple slaw? Uh... Did it fit perfectly like that? Because that's really cool if it did. Sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. Got one more? I think that was it. I don't know that I can see. Okay. We're just looking good. Yeah, we're looking real good. Can you push those up front for me? Yeah. Okay, two more of those. 
Yeah. That, this sounds really good. Oh, no, I don't know. On a hot dog or sausage. Which what is it? Yeah. So can you relish that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got those hot dogs from fishing. Okay. That's so uh, barbecue sauce. We finished moving the shelf and all of our jars, and we counted them. I think we have right around 280, so really, really good. I think we started with, uh, you know, around 500 or something like that, and we're constantly canning and using what we have. We're going to keep going with our seed shelf, and we have to get some soil from outside, too. So we're starting with three lights for aerial seed lanes and from this point on until it begins to be summer or the seeds start to go outside we're going to be running our generator a lot kind of sucks but we got to do it we got to power these lights these are led lights these are they're really nice high quality lights we actually got them from like a, a grow operation in anchorage that was going out of business and they were selling each one of these lights for only five dollars so i bought 12 of them so we have like a bunch of extra ones they're waterproof they are like a uh, red and a a blue or like a red and a purple I'll show you the color but they work really good for us and like I said they're only five dollars each and I think they use about 30 watts but I got my little meter here we're gonna check and see exactly what they use that's the color kind of blue and red I guess but it's 39 watts so each lights gonna be about 40 watts and at some points We'll have about 10 lights going on this thing because we'd like to really hit them with a lot of light. And then we also have a couple seed mats and those use uh, about 30 watts each also. So hence the reason we have to run the generator a lot this time of year. It's super hard to get that lock out though. Look at how much snow's over here. I didn't remove any here last time. Remember it's that corner that... Yeah. It usually has to sit for a while. There it goes. <laughs> because it's so... Oh, oh. sorry, bitch. <laughs> you want to bring that out? Yeah, you ready? Oh. Yeah, we can do it. Oh! I went to lift it with one arm and then I was like, that's not good. Okay. Good. Nice job. All right, let's clean that. Good job, Peanut. We're done with our seed setup for the day because we have to wait for our soil to do frost before I can start planting anything. We are in zone three, so some of the things that I'm going to be starting first are some of our herbs. I'm going to do celery, leverage celeriac and onions and leeks and then from there I'll do peppers and tomatoes pretty close after that. Our high tunnel isn't heated so we pretty much grow everything inside here. Almost all of our garden is started directly from seed. I have a lot to do and I'm so excited for this setup because we have an extra shelf and I have extra length to them so I'm going to be able to add a lot more trays. We're at about 10 hours of sunlight now, which is still not enough for plants. That is why we have to add the lights and we're going to be running the generator, unfortunately, quite a bit until we have longer days coming up, which is definitely something to look forward to. Now that we're done with this, we have worked up quite an appetite and we have something awesome for dinner planned. We're going to be making a pot pie. We are starting with our crust for our pot pie and I have three cups of flour that I'm using. We're going to do a pot pie with a you know, crust in the bottom and then a crust on the top too. And I'm using tallow because that's what we have. Lard works awesome. You can use butter, of course, or like Crisco. And I'm only adding about a half cup of this because it does have a little bit of a stronger flavor since it's moose tallow. Eric's going to add in a teaspoon of salt that I forgot to add. <laughs> Thank you. Good? Yeah. Thank you. Once I have the tallow all crumbled up in here, we're gonna add probably a, a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of really cold water and get our dough formed. And then we're gonna let it chill outside for about half an hour. Perfect. Here we go. 
got the dough divided into two and we're going to bring it outside. Getting started on the filling for our pot pie. I'm really looking forward to this dish. I'm extremely hungry tonight. We're gonna do a couple frozen leeks. We have some frozen garlic scapes. Garlic, we're gonna do about a half a pound of ground moose meat. That's called julienne. Is it really called julienne? It's called julienne when you cut them like at an angle. Like that. Dang. We're going heavy on the herbs. We're doing sage, rosemary, and we're doing a little bit of oregano in there too. And then we got salt and pepper. This is just about cooked. Adding a quarter cup of flour, and we're gonna brown the flour. We're not adding any liquid yet, and we'll see if we need more flour, but this should be good. Just keep stirring it. Get it all incorporated and browned up. Our flour has browned, so what we're going to do next, we're going to add our liquid. I have like a quarter cup of milk here, and we've been soaking some morel mushrooms. So they've kind of soaked up all that milk, and they've gotten a lot bigger, kind of how they were when we picked them. We're going to add this in there. We're going to add the liquid of our celery stock. We are going to use the celery stock in this, but we're just not going to use it yet. We want the liquid out of here, so I'm going to pour all that in. So this is what the mushrooms look like before I just started cooking with them, and they're just little tiny mushrooms but when we picked these things I mean some of these were huge some of them were like six inches big these are one of the easiest foods to preserve in my opinion you just go out you pick them and you or at least what we do is we lay them on a window screen for about a week they get pretty much hard as a rock you put them in a jar and they're good for later I'm gonna top this off with a little more milk and we're gonna let this thicken the milk and the broth and the flour this is all gonna turn into our gravy for our pot pie so I wanted to add some frozen cauliflower, a little, I think that's a little piece of broccoli. We're gonna put that in there. That's already been blanched, so it's pretty much almost cooked. And this should go for about 10 minutes. We've got the bottom layer of our pie crust in this dish, and we're gonna add these green beans and carrots to the bottom, and then some of our celery and carrots. I think there's some onions in there. And then on top, we're gonna add all that delicious gravy. All right, it's time to put the top on. And I have a lot of extra excess dough. I think I made a little bit much. Man, it's good. I know. It's so, good. so I just set that top dough on there and I'm kind of like folding it into the bottom one. I left it extra thick because I kind of wanted a thicker crust. 
I'm sure there's a correct way to do this, and I am sure I am not doing it the correct way, but I'm going for flavor over beauty, so I think it looks pretty good too. <laughs> We're gonna plop this in the oven and let this cook. I'm thinking it's gonna take over half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. We don't cook pot pie that often, so we will see. Well, it took about 40 minutes. We brushed a little bit of egg on top of there to get that nice golden color. It's done, it looks amazing. We're gonna eat, we're starving. Tell you what, no kids are gonna get this started. There we go. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna just massacre it anyway. <laughs> Beautiful, babe. Thank you. Yum. That was really good. Do you not like that crust? I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried the crust? I mean, my filling that's like exploding on the side. I think I think you need to try the crust. It's it's it it. I mean. Good morning. We are cooking breakfast. I'm getting some rolls in the oven and Eric's going to hop in here and cook up the rest of our breakfast. Painting the roses is red. You ever watch Alice in Wonderland? We're going to make some hash browns. I'm going to shred some potatoes and then we're going to make some moose sausage out of our just ground moose meat. We're going to make like a sweet and spicy sausage and then we're going to fry up some eggs. sweet and spicy sausage. We got cayenne, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper. We're going to do maple syrup. And we're going to do some sage. And 
Like I said, we got half a pound of moose meat here. You take tidy shaping super seriously, Bubble Oil. You gotta shape it now for the future, you know what I mean? Sausage. Breakfast is served. We're going to eat. We are heading outside, but I have some leftover chaga tea from last night, and I'm gonna make us this nice drink so we can stay warm because it is super chilly out there. I'm gonna add some honey and milk to the chaga tea, which is just chaga and water. That's simmered for a while. And we're good to go. There's no snow really over there. Well, got an absolutely beautiful day today. It's probably about 10 degrees out, but the sun is shining. We're getting a ton of solar, which is awesome. I think we're getting about 400 watts right now at our charge controller. That thing only handles 430, so we're about at the max. Got a bunch of stuff to do out here today. I have a ton of cardboard I'm gonna burn, and obviously we have a lot of snow removal to do. Probably got about a good eight inches on the ground right now.